Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Bloody Mohawk, the French and Indian War from Lock and Load Publishing. This is a Battles on Demand game and this is the first one in the line. I'm real excited about this personally because uh, this is the first game that I've worked on in the Battles on Demand line that's getting the box treatment. The other ones um, have been Ziplocs, but going forward uh, Battle on Demand games are going to be done in box format and the boxes are really, really cool. Uh, really well done nice thick boxes not thin skinny little boxes uh, full color they get the full treatment just like you'd get with a 40 50 dollar game so it's exciting to see this and this is a low to medium complexity game uh, on the french and indian war at a time that a lot of people are um, don't game a lot you know it, there are some games and some great games in, in this uh, time frame but it's uh, kind of almost underrepresented and uh, this is, it's great to see another one in uh, this era uh, for us to play. But let's take a quick look inside and see what's in store for us very soon. Lock and Load is going to have this available on the site as soon as we give the go-ahead on this, um, that it's uh, good to go. So maybe this week or within a week. Full color manual, and the total page count is only 23 pages. The majority of it is uh, covered up with these scenarios. The rules themselves only go about to page seven. And from there on, it's all scenarios. That is a ton of scenarios, uh, great bang for the buck. So easy game to get into. Rules really start on page four. So you've got maybe, well, let's see, yeah, start on page three. So we get into the components and then uh, all your stacking, your leaders, how a sequence of play works, some information on the train, and also information on your counters. And then we've got fire combat, how that's handled, artillery, uh, Indian special combat ability, retreats, and then advance after combat. And then we get to jump right into the scenarios. And there are a dozen of them, so a lot of fun. These are uh, pretty quick playing. You could probably knock out a game in 30 to 60 minutes, um, you, you know, unless you slow play it. but not uh, super difficult to play, uh, game to play and a lot of fun. So if you're looking for an interesting topic maybe that you're not familiar with or if you are looking for another game about the French and Indian War, Bloody Mohawk will be available soon from Lock and Load and this is a good one to grab. Player aid here. And we'll also have your turn track. It gives you all your terrain, movement costs, combat, effects on combat and retreat. And then we have the player, like I said, the uh, turn track over here keep track of your turns and we've got we'll come back to these counters here in a second because these are going to be pretty neat to look at we'll take a quick look at some of these uh, maps here's one for Fort Necessity this one is for Battle of Bushy Run cool thing about these is double-sided so you got maps on either side this is Battle of Lake George on the back Battle of Carillon Fort Carillon there. You got uh, Battle and Siege of Fort William Henry, Mary Jemson Raid, and then we've got Braddock's Defeat and uh, Monongahela, and uh, pretty interesting terrain. Uh, very woodsy areas, obviously. Uh, that's what that area of the country really is uh, covered with. So let's go now over to the counters. These are pretty cool because these are laser cut counters, rounded corners, so you don't have to worry about cutting them and clipping them. You just punch them and play. And he's punched real easy. Pop one out. Take another one out real quick here. Actually, I should probably, uh, let's get one from each. We'll get one blue and one red. And that is a good look at the counters. Let's see if I can get a little closer in so you can check them out. Uh, rounded, nice and thick too. You can see here, these are nice and thick. If you're familiar with Victory Point games, you're going to have um, a good idea of what these are like. The really cool thing about these, and it never bothered me with Victory Point games, but uh, the cool thing about these is no soot. Now, there's nothing on my hand. These are going to be, uh, they're cut in a way that it really minimizes or completely eliminates the soot. So you're not going to have that. You're still going to have a little bit of that barbecue kind of soot smell, which I never 
had a problem with. I always liked it, but it's not really uh, that pervasive. It's just you can't remove that uh, from counters like this. So I'm just putting these back in the tray or the tree. And that is the laser cut counters and the box for Bloody Mohawk. And as an added little sneak peek bonus, we've got something else. Let's get this out of the way. We're going to take a quick look at Wake Island. This is another one that uh, we'll be getting the box treatment as well. Uh, I, was, I was involved in this one. This is another one by uh, Bill Molino, and it is a, a very low complexity, very easy, uh, simple game to get into. Just like Bloody Mohawk, a lot of fun. Uh, we've got the rules themselves again. Go up to page 7, and then the invasions start on page 8. And design notes and player tips all the way to page 10. So not hard at all to get into. Nice color, big, easy to read uh, manual. Covers all the phases of play, the different uh, counters that you're going to have, and how they're employed in the game and what they do for you. And uh, we get into the Japanese destroyers here. Then we get into the optional rules and then design notes. And that is all you have to worry about with that. Pretty quick, pretty simple, straightforward. Here's your player aids. Right there. Great little map. And more laser cut counters that just look fantastic. And uh, again, these will pop out. We'll take a look at one of the marine units. And get that one here. Again, just really, really neat counters. And uh, no muss, no fuss. Just punch them, play them. You're good to go. And no clipping. So that is a quick sneak peek at Wake Island, a heroic defiance, and Bloody Mohawk coming from Lock and Load Publishing very soon. So stay tuned. Check it out at Lock and Load Publishing's website, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.